okay in our last session we seen how to create a procedure okay how to create a very simple procedure which returns one single output uh, value okay to so now in today's session now we are going to learn how to create a procedure which returns a table format like okay um, yeah which re which returns a table format with a single column next we can uh, um, you know see uh, multiple columns also initially okay this one we have so in our before going into this procedure procedure returns table as output so what is uh, what i am going to do in this procedure now we are going to learn how to write a select statement and get data into one internal table and returns it to the output screen so to write this select statement what we need first of all we need one database table to perform the select operation so for this uh, requirement so now let's go into the system so in our system under the kettle under our schema and our user schema under the table section we need one table okay to write the select statement so which table i'm going to use here sales So I created a table called sales underscore one with some content. Let's see the data in the table. So this is my data available under sales underscore one table. Now I am going to create a procedure which returns data output from this uh, you know uh, table based on uh, on my input on the material. For example, if I provide M one as my input to the procedure, then it returns the records like a document numbers associated with this m1 material okay if i pass m2 as my input to the procedure then it will return document numbers associated with my m2 material so this is our scenario so now let's see how we can implement this scenario so now i'm going to create one more new procedure for this requirement and uh, let's see how to create it I am going to repository section. So I mean I have to be in a, you know uh, development perspective and then I am going to repository section. Under repository section, I am going to my package, right click on the package, create new. In this uh, go to other and type procedure here, take stored procedure, click on next, provide the procedure name procedure underscore sales to and target schema provide target schema information on a user and click on finish whatever schema you want to store this one you can give your own schema name okay so my in my case it is hana user so i am updating my default user as hana default schema as hana user okay and between this begin and end i need to write my logic but here what i said i am passing one input parameter to my procedure so to provide any input parameter i need to write a keyword in okay in material worker 18 okay so this is my because why i am giving worker 18 here from where i get to know this i am you know material is after worker 18 where means because i know i am passing is an input to my one of my table to fetch the data so i am passing my whatever input i am providing to the procedure this input i am going to pass on to this uh, you know table to fetch the corresponding document numbers in this table this document this uh, material how what is this uh, you know go to sales underscore one table definition here you see material and worker 18 from here i taken that data type and length information okay like this you need to understand uh, you know get to know from where you can uh, identify this uh, input parameter data type and length information okay and worker 18 it is better to both are having same data type and length so now i am done with this uh, input parameter next one what is next is i have to define my output parameter also okay so in uh, um, input and output parameters must be separated with comma out 
so my output parameter is a single variable uh, like this material no my output is now of type table which returns multiple values in our earlier example it returns only single column a single row that's why it is a single kind of a variable kind but now my output is expecting multiple rows it means nothing but it is a table type so when it comes to table type you need to define your output also in a tab of type table so out uh, lt underscore lt means local table or uh, you know table t underscore you can define t underscore output this is the name you are giving to your output table okay and after that you need to define uh, say that t, uh, this t underscore output is of type table hmm? and then start the definition of your table here below you need to specify the definition of your table so definition here is document number i want to return so doc number of type varchar and within the brackets i am giving 10 so since i am going to say, uh, return only single column i am giving here so you know document number only for example let's change our example to return multiple columns document number and created on also type date okay i am creating uh, to uh, i am returning output of this my procedure with uh, of type table with two columns one is document number another one is created on so this doc underscore number must be equal to this doc underscore number technical name and created on also must be matched with my uh, select statement on the table okay created on now I, I defined my input parameter and defined my output table structure also now i am going to write my logic it's a very simple straightforward t underscore output is equal to select star from my table so simply go to table and drag and drop here it will give the you know table entire definition here table where because as i said our example is whatever material we pass as an input to our procedure the corresponding data must come so that's why i need to pass material selection also where material equal to so equal to operator must be colon um, one second equal to operator must be in this format equal to yeah this is important material is equal to colon followed by material hmm. so what is the difference here here select statement contains this kind of keyword we already learned how to write a select statement select star from table where material is equal to why i given colon here means this colon represents this material is a local variable okay to our procedure if anything you are passing as a local variable from your procedure that must be preceded with this colon symbol okay and that's it so select star huh? no no this is not select star star means it will fetch all data i need only doc underscore number comma created underscore on so these two columns and because my t underscore output is of table with the document number and created on columns so my select also must return only two columns with the name document number and created on if i give star then uh, whatever select returns and what is this t output structure both must uh, is not equal that's why i am definitely must mention the column names here document number created on so now click on check button uh, yeah nothing is addressed there and then activate so activate successfully now if i go to procedures i can see procedure sales to was activated now let's call this procedure in our hana sql hana sql so call procedure uh, now, now my procedure name is sales to now my procedure to contains two parameters one input parameter one output parameter so input parameter i need to pass one selection so i am passing m1 as my selection okay and always output parameters can be denoted with you know question mark can be represented with a question mark so i am giving question mark here and then executing it you see when i execute i am getting document number and created on so whatever data one three five nothing but these are the document numbers associated with my m1 material okay for example if i execute my procedure one more time 
with the material M2 as an input, then my procedure will return only documents with the M2 output. Clear? In this way, we can you know we can create a procedure which returns table as an output. And how to call, you know, because after creating procedure, it is important to do testing. So to perform testing, uh, I am showing this particular, uh, you know, case here, how to uh, call your procedure from a SQL command prompt. Okay, I hope it is clear. So now what's next? So in our next session, we are going to learn about, okay, how to create a procedure with, uh, you know, this. Uh, so far what we learned is very sim basic, simple examples. Okay, in our next session, we are going to learn about, you know, how to update a table, database table with the data. So the example here is, I am going to create one table. Okay, in this table, um, there is no data. I am trying to write data into this new table from using my procedure. Okay, this is the example which we are going to learn in our next session. Okay. So, yeah, closing the session for now.